so here is everything that I have right now going on. Let's dive into the first thing, which is the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. I actually got this uh, through a subscriber of mine. She sent it over and um, I've been playing around with this. I do like this. You definitely can't bake with this, I've noticed, um, but you can lightly set underneath your eyes and I do find that it provides a little bit of a brightening effect. So I do like that. This here is the Milk Makeup. And this is a luminous blur stick. I don't know. It doesn't really show up on my skin. It doesn't really do anything. It's just kind of, it's pointless in my opinion. I don't know. I, I wasn't super impressed with it. So I think I'm going to end up um, donating this product just because I didn't really know how I would even ever use this. I have these two that we got in our um, Ipsy Glam Bag Pluses. They're both kind of like CC creams, so they are going to provide more coverage. I spoke about this one in my monthly favorites. I told you guys how much I loved it. My plan is to keep these in my drawer because I do plan to use it. I want to see which one I like better, and then I'm going to go ahead and purchase a full-size one. This one here is newer to me. My mom actually told me about this, Soul uh, De Janeiro Bum Bum Cream, and she swears by this. My mom was like, you have to get it. So I was like, all right, well, I was getting ready to buy it, and then I noticed that on Octoly, they had it for, um, you could test it out. So I decided to pick it up and try it out. I've used it a few times. I will say the smell is incredible. I like to keep this in my drawer, mainly for like my hands and stuff and my neck, but so far I'm liking it. I don't know if over time I'm supposed to see anything with this, but if you guys have tried this, please let me know what your thoughts are on this. Um, my plan is to keep using it and then uh, once it, you know, I get it into an empties, I'll definitely let you guys know if I saw a difference, but so far the smell is really great and I know my mom loves it. She ended up buying a full size version of it. This right here, I do plan to discard. I just had this for so long and I can tell that it's starting to get a really funny smell. This is the Jouer Melon Liquid Lipstick. I absolutely love the formula of these Jouer liquid lipsticks. I think they're very beautiful. I know I've had this for a really long time, so this is something I'm going to have to discard. I did get a lot of questions about the e.l.f. booster drops, and I've used it a few times now. I, probably because I don't use these products at all because I'm oily combo skin, I don't find these to be very beneficial to my everyday routine. So I have used it with a more full coverage foundation, and I found that it did help a little bit, but... Um, it wasn't anything too great. I think if you have dry skin, maybe this is something to consider. So let's move into the two eyeshadow palettes that I picked up for this last month. I try to specifically spend a lot of time on these two um, on my off days and I found myself really gravitating towards this palette more than this one. I just wasn't impressed with it. I used it a few times and I found myself diving towards this palette which I ended up falling in love with. I used it so much. This shade right here called Snow has got to be my favorite highlighting shade so far. Like it is just so intense and so pigmented you guys. Like I can't get enough of it. So so this is the shade Snow, and this is what I have been using to highlight my inner corners with. I plan to hold on to this and use this for my inner corners at least because I really, really love that shade. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put everything away, and then we're going to go ahead and dive into some new makeup. So the first two drawers I have are lashes. Then we're going to move into this drawer, which is my primer drawer. I need something that's going to be pore filling, and I need something that is going to also have... A mattifier just because I feel like here recently my oily skin is coming at bay more so let's see I've got the Yenso which I've been playing with I've got some Joa I feel like I've played with quite a few of those these are all newer but this is one that I did mention the other day to myself I wanted to check out this is the Angel Veil by NYX so I'm going to test out this one because it's been a while since I played with it um I have played with the Pixie Lancome Farsali what's this Tristique. All right. I think I'm going to try that. Okay, so let's try that one. And then Fenty CoverGirl. I guess I could try this one. This is a matte. Do I have anything else that's mattifying? Oh, I have the one by Pop Beauty. Let's see. If I had to choose between these two. I'm going to try this one, I think. I feel like it's been a while since I've tried this one, so let's give it a shot. So now we've got cream highlighters and setting sprays. So let's start with setting sprays. Um, this one isn't opened, but this is, I've been using CoverGirl, I've used it. These are the face, Fast Bases, Mattifier, Ugh, I love this stuff, you guys, All Nighter, Scandinavia, what is this? Makeup Primer Spray, Oil Control, 
I could use that. I do need a setting spray. I might have to go over there in my background over here if you guys can see. I've got a Joe one back here. MAC Fix Plus. Let's do the Peach Perfect. I know that it's a mattifier one, but let's try it. Um, cream highlighters. I do need to use these up more. This is the Sunbeam. We just got that one. Got this one by ABH, which is the Oyster Collab. Let's do the Lancome. Let's try it out. These are my concealers. Okay, so these are like primers and stuff. Back here are concealers that I am not going to touch yet. And then these are the ones that are currently active. There is one I wanted to try out because I just got it. My girlfriend Faye sent it to me. Um, she had the Jouer High Coverage. What are these called? The High Coverage Concealers. Um, and the shade that I have is uh, Wheat. So I definitely want to try out the Jouer ones. Like I really want to see what that formula is like. We'll do the Urban Decay because that's the only other one that I haven't played around with really. All the other ones I feel like I've done a pretty good job. Now we have setting powders and loose setting powders let's see what we got back here so we've got maybelline this is the new this is the Too faced one i just got um aoa studio wasn't a fan of that airspun you guys know how much i love that this is the peach perfect these are powders i do need a pressed powder for sure that's bare minerals too dark i just had that one what's this oh it's not okay let's see this one all right so here's the gorgeous cosmetics definitely probably my shade right now initials are still on it so i'll try that one i got mineral veil here you know i might just do one of these covergirl ones i like these i really like these for sitting underneath my eyes this one here is in the shade 710 i might do this one to set for underneath my eyes or just every day this is the one drawer i will say i am really good at circulating through <sighs> we got the pop beauty back here ben minerals oh my god this is like my all-time favorite this one here is like my all-time favorite one mm, maybelline maybelline maybe i'll do the maybelline master bronze because it does have a highlight in there maybe i'll do it i can't use the two middle but i could definitely probably use the one on the end um, everything else in here, you guys can see, I do circulate really well through. This is the new Sunkiss bronzer we just got. You know, I should test out this one too. This is the new Sunkiss bronzer. And then down here is just like all my extra brushes and stuff. So now let's move into lipsticks. So this is my lipstick collection. In the back here, I have some, um, lippies, some like little lippy balms back here. I've really been into chubby sticks here recently for everyday wear. Um, and I think it's just because it's convenient for me. So we have this one, which is the Vasanti Matte Crush, which looks like this. I thought would be really pretty. These were the other two from NARS that I got. So that one is called Expiry. And then this last one I picked up is a little bit more cooler tone, which is I think the one I wanted to get. And this one here is Golden Gate. And I was like, oh my goodness. So I'm going to pick up two chubby sticks. I have the one by Desi and Kate. Honestly, guys, I can't make this work for me. Like, I feel like it's way too orange. You see that? Like, I don't know. I feel like it's way too orange for me. Maybe I'll try that one because I haven't used it in a while. And I really want to try to figure it out. So we'll do these two. So I'm going to do one by Mello and then the Desi and Katie one with Dose of Color collection. Next collection we have is our liquid lipsticks. I'm going to hold off on liquid lipsticks right now. I definitely want to stick with some lipsticks. For pencil right now, I was using the Joa Beauty, which I still want to hold on to, but I do want to try a new one. I have this one that I just got from Winky Lux that I wanted to give a shot. It's kind of similar to the, like, the Brow Definer by Anastasia and then the Goof Proof Brow Pencil by Benefit. So I want to give that one a shot because I haven't tried it yet. And then these are my blushes. I just, just did a blush blush a declutter so if you guys haven't seen it I'll link it above so make sure to head it out head it out make sure to check it out there was a blush I wanted to pull out which was specifically the note one a lot of you guys said you loved this blush when I was talking about it in my declutter I'm gonna give it a shot and see if I like it but I got a lot of really great feedback from it okay so I'm just gonna hold on to the camera really quickly while we go through this this one here is the Huda Beauty I've played with it I've played with the Gade a lot of you guys always say I need to try more of the ColourPop and try to figure it out I'm gonna try this one this is the Wisp by ColourPop Let's do the one by JLo. This is the one that was in collaboration with Inglot, um, the Sparkling Dust. Look at how pretty this is. Now we're going to move into my eyeshadow palette collection, and I apologize, it's kind of dirty over here, but um, the first one is the 
glitters, which I don't need right now. These are all mainly drugstore, which I feel like I've done a pretty good job at circulating through all this. I'm going pretty quickly. Um, if you guys didn't know, I just did an eyeshadow palette collection. If you guys want to check it out, I'll leave it in the iCard above. This one here is my favorite drawer because it's got a majority of the stuff I play with all the time. I have not played with this one. Don't shoot me. I know you guys are gonna be like, what? I'm gonna play with it. I think it's time. So I'm gonna play with that one. We just got this one by Tarte also. Um, I got the Rainforest one. Um, this is another one of my favorite collections. I've got Too Faced over here. I just got the Too Faced Gold Chocolate Palette. So many of you guys asked me during the 21 Days of Beauty, like, you guys are so awesome. You guys even, like, um, IG'd me and DM'd me and you're like, did you pick it up? Did you pick it up? I did. Just got it. I also did get the Brow Wiz when it was on sale. I picked up two of them. Um, but my plan is to actually film a, um makeup tutorial using nothing new like one of those makeup tutorials because there's a lot of things in here that I definitely want to reuse and so that is my first palette to play with I'm also I just got the last piece I needed for my one brand tutorial from Too Faced so I'm going to be playing with the Pretty Rich palette here so that'll be coming up next week sometime all right let's do something down here let's do one of the meat mats do I want meat matrimony or meat mat nude Let's pull out Meat Matte Nude. Because Meat Matrimony has more of those like pinky tones and I already have that with the Jaclyn Hill palette. And this has got more neutral. So these are all mattes, which would be a good palette for me to have for every day. I'm gonna pull out this one. So these are the Miskos palettes in case you guys didn't know. You guys can pick them up on Amazon. They're like 19 bucks each. I kinda wanna do this one. Do you see that blue? I'm kinda digging these blues. Okay, so that's what that one looks like. That looks pretty bomb, what do you think? That orange is calling my name. All right, let's do this one. So that is everything in my collection. That is what we're gonna be testing out for this makeup stash. Make sure to uh, look down below and you guys can see last month's makeup stash. And if you guys have any questions or um, you guys saw anything in my makeup collection that you guys thought that maybe I should try out for next month, let me know down below. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye.